Lefties across the globe are losing it. They're having meltdowns, causing chaos and leaving a trail of disruption in their wake. Gender, race, sexuality, climate, there's no limit to what will trigger them. They're unpredictable, erratic, and in the eyes of Sky News All-Star Rita Panahi, completely hilarious. Rita Panahi exposes the lefties who are losing it across the globe. A meltdown trigger for lefties is gender. Assuming someone's gender can lead to a major outburst. And things took a nasty turn when one of the dancing, chanting protesters was apparently misgendered. Here the protester claims she's a man and points to her pronoun badge. It's proof. Again, charming stuff. And historically, celebrities have shied away from commenting on gender publicly for fear of being cancelled. But the tide is now changing and the lefties aren't happy. Let's start with lefties having a meltdown because music legend Santana said this during a concert. A woman is a woman and a man is a man. Yeah. The Los Angeles Times was among a host of publications claiming that Carlos Santana went on an anti-trans rant on stage. It didn't sound like much of a rant to me and I've watched the longer version. Dylan Mulvaney is perhaps the most well-known lefty that has lost it on several occasions, mainly triggered by comments about her gender and sexuality. I live for the gays. I live for the gays, I live for them. I live for the gays, the gays, the gays, the gays. The guys, the gays, the gays make me happy. I don't wanna live for anyone else. Gay, 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 be me gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I told you, I can't explain it. It's kind of fun though. Lefties losing it isn't limited to hysterical breakdowns. Lefties also lose their minds and come up with exaggerated stories that are very difficult to believe. I was at work and a customer called me sir, and I said, um, sir, actually it's a ma'am. And then everyone around started clapping and the guy who said it actually got arrested. And then he was sentenced to death, yeah, I'm sure. Heterosexual men have long been the target of lefty meltdowns simply by existing. Now here is a woman having what appears to be a meltdown, which she helpfully filmed and put on the internet for us. And it's all over what seems like a rather unremarkable interaction with a man. Women do not want to be spoken to in public by strange men. I was just leaving the hardware store because I'm a construction girl and I was deciding whether or not to jaywalk and I was waiting patiently to see if there was a moment when there was going to be a clear, safe path for me. And this man in a minivan, I'm locking my car doors. This man in a minivan slows down and starts waving at me and yelling, go. And I was like, no, there's cars coming, not safe. And he goes, go. And I was like, no, you drive, like you're endangering people. Calm down, love, you're gonna hurt yourself. I mean, these girls, they go on the internet and have these meltdowns over the most mundane interactions. I mean, imagine if you actually had a crisis to face. And even when presented with the cold hard facts about gender, lefties still lose it. But science doesn't apply when talking about gender. Can you identify as a black person? No. Why? Because I'm not black. I'm not a woman, but I can identify as, as a woman, according to you. If you transition, maybe. What defines a transition? Like, if that's if that's your goal, you know? If you believe it. Sure. If you believe you're black, why aren't you black? Well, that's just not, that's like genetics. That's like ancestry. Like, you're black, right? You're also born a man or a woman. It's the same thing. That's also genetics. Okay, I'm over it. <laughs> <laughs> She's over it. I bet you are, love. 
and even seemingly intelligent university professors are losing it when it comes to gender. Now, this is the most hilarious yet maddening lefties losing it content. Here is Riley Gaines, a swimmer who was forced to swim against Leah Thomas for some time uh, before Thomas was banned from the women's competition because, well, because they have a male body. Well, Riley was speaking at the University of Pittsburgh where an academic claimed that men and women are not physically different. Listen to this exchange and listen to the students laugh at the academic and the claims he's making. So if you were to dig up a human, two humans, and a hundred years from now, both man and woman, could you tell the difference? Strictly off the of bones. Yeah, because there's a hard man. <laughs> He goes, why am I being laughed at when I'm the expert in the room? That's what the academic said there at the end. Uh, I don't know, you're being laughed at because you've allowed woke wackery to uh, turn you into a reality denying clown. That's why they're laughing at you, even at university where we know woke culture reigns supreme. Rita Panahi was perplexed when footage emerged of a biological man walking bizarrely down a catwalk. Uh, now, there aren't too many industries that are as stupidly woke as the fashion world, so let's check in on lefties losing it on the catwalk. <laughs> Have we got the vision? Oh, yes, here we go. Prue, can you explain to my audience what we've just looked at here? Because it's... Um, I have well, trouble understanding. Is that, is that now what's uh, expected? This is the ideal vision of manhood? Well, this is a person who we think is a man who looks like it's a wiener in a sandwich, trying to master the art of wearing ridiculous <laughs> wedgy high heels. I mean, it's if this is fashion, it's certainly a statement. I don't we'll know what it that. is, Prue, but uh, you know what? I'm going to investigate it and I will uh, bring an explanation next week, Prue. And host of The View, Whoopi Goldberg, was offended by a harmless joke about maternity leave. Let's start with regular contributors to Lefties Losing It, the ladies of The View. This time it was Whoopi's turn. She lost it over a little joke about maternity leave. Look at how perturbed she is here recounting this joke, which she claims isn't funny at all, even though her audience and her co-hosts are laughing at it. An attempted joke at last weekend's political roast held by a DC journalist, the Gridiron Dinner. Pence claimed Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg did, took two months of, quote, maternity leave during the nationwide airline crisis, which makes Pete the only person in human history to have a child and everyone else gets postpartum depression. That's the joke. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> now, I, I will point out that this joke wasn't funny when Tucker Carlson did it. It wasn't funny when Lauren Boebert did it. It's just not funny. It's just not a funny joke. But it is a funny joke, Whoopi. Funnier than anything uh, you've contributed over the last decade. And it was during a roast, for the love of God. For far more crass things are said during a roast than that. And Whoopi went on to say she was outraged by the joke, but somehow she wasn't outraged when a few days earlier, Jane Fonda was sitting next to her and joking about murdering Christians and conservative politicians. Climate crazies are some of the worst offenders of meltdowns. Not only do they have verbal outbursts, but they also extend to physical altercations and destruction of property. Now to some climate crazies losing it in Sweden. Women from the climate group Restore Wetlands glued their hands to a Monet painting and uttered hysterical lies about the end of the world. Situationen är akut. Pandemin var ingenting jämfört med klimatkollapsen. Det som kommer kan vi inte ens föreställa oss. Barn och äldre dör först. I mean, jail. You've got to put them in jail. You cannot have great works of art continuously attacked like that. It doesn't matter if they've got protective glass. You can't tolerate that kind of behaviour. You are there, love. 
Do you know what you're doing here with your engine idling? No, what? You are polluting the atmosphere. Really? You're just sitting here without a care of the world, with your engine running, okay. and you don't care who you're polluting. Okay. Fumes from this car are going in through the, all the, the windows the, and all the, the ventilation. The, uh, the uh, fumes from this car, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Oh, do you know that like, this car's electric, right? Ha ha ha! Yeah, yeah, you try and fob me off like that. No, it's an electric anyone, car, large di di just to cover up your crimes. Because I will crimes? be reporting this, you know. What, what, what? I'll what? Report me to who? To the authorities. But, what, what? And say what? Hey, excuse me, someone's in their car. Yeah, and I'm going to take a picture of you and all. You're polluting the atmosphere. That is a crime now. How know? is it a crime? Because you are sending untold, untold. nasty emissions of poison this all over this area. <gasps> Oh, I love the climate crazies, but where would I get content if it wasn't for climate crazies? And this has pushed average people to retaliate with their own frustration fueled meltdowns. Now let's go to Lefty Heartland, Washington DC. But even there, the locals are fed up with climate crazies blocking the roads. Have a look at this interaction with people screaming that they just want to get to work. I want to walk! Oh, I want to go to the walk! Hey, Puffy! Hey, Puffy! I want to go to walk! I got kids to feed! Puffy! What's wrong with y'all? Y'all can find a better way to protest it. Get out of here. Yeah, I need to go to the house. Got my kids who's with the here! I gotta go to the house. You gotta do anything! Don't the law! <laughs> the whole thing goes on for several minutes and I tell you, it's very entertaining indeed. Crowds at the US Open Grand Slam tennis tournament turned on climate crazies who disrupted the game to shout about fossil fuels. Now let's go to the US Open where climate crazies were losing it, but it took only a few seconds for the crowd to turn on these lefties who were shouting about fossil fuels. Yes, they do suck.